and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be looking at titration calculations. This video is intended as a practice video for carrying out titration calculations. If you are unsure as to how to carry out titration calculations, I have multiple videos on my channel which explain different methods for how to carry out these calculations. I'll very quickly run through the method that I'm going to use in this video. The method that I've chosen to use in this video is the moles method and the reason that I've chosen this method is that once you've learned how to do this for titrations, this method can also be transferred to be used for mass to mass calculations and also calculations involving both mass and concentration. It's also then useful later on in higher when you're doing things like percentage yield. So this is a method which can apply to multiple different calculations. So here we've been asked to calculate the concentration of sodium hydroxide, which is NaOH. You've been given a titration table, which shows the start, end and added volumes for the titration. And then at the side we have a picture of the titration, which shows that in the burette we have one molar hydrochloric acid, which is what is in the table. And then in the flask we have 20 mL of sodium hydroxide, which is what we're trying to find the concentration of. So the first step is to calculate the average titer. Now to calculate the average titer, we need to use the two added volumes which are within 0.2 of each other. So that here is 10.5 and 10.3. So we're going to take the average of these two values. By adding them together and dividing by the number of values. We then need to divide by a thousand to take this average titer, which is in millilitres, into litres to use further on in our calculation. The next step is to calculate the number of moles from the average titer. So we need to do concentration times volume. We're taking the concentration of hydrochloric acid from the burette, which is one, and the average titer that we have just calculated in litres to get the number of moles of hydrochloric acid used in the titration. We're now going to look at the mole ratio. The mole ratio comes from the balanced equation and we're focusing on the reactants. So one mole of hydrochloric acid reacts with exactly one mole of sodium hydroxide. We had 0 0.0104 moles of hydrochloric acid in the reaction and to go from left to right on the, balanced, on the balanced equation and the mole ratio, we need to multiply by 1. This means we had 0 0.0104 moles of sodium hydroxide in the 20 ml sample. We're going to calculate the concentration by taking the number of moles and dividing by volume. We're first of all going to convert the volume into litres by dividing by 1000 before putting in the two numbers into the calculation. This gives a concentration of sodium hydroxide of 0 0.52 moles per litre. Pause the video now and try this example. I've left the steps in for you for this example. So in this example, we are calculating the concentration of sodium hydroxide and we have the equation here and we are titrating that with sulfuric acid and we have a titration table showing us information about the titration. So the first thing we need to do is calculate the average titer using the titers which are within 0 0.2 of each other. So we have 22.2 plus 22.4 and then we divide that by 2 to get our average. We then need to divide by a thousand to make sure we have this in litres before we do anything else with the numbers. The next step is to calculate the number of moles using concentration times volume. Our concentration is one mole per litre from the burette multiplied by the average titer that we've just calculated. to give us 0 0.0223 moles. We're now going to look at our mole ratio. So from the equation, 
we can see that we have one mole of sulfuric acid which reacts with two moles of sodium hydroxide. From step two, we can see that we have 0 0.0223 moles of sulfuric acid. And to go from the left to the right here, we need to multiply by two, which means that we would require 0 0.0446 moles of sodium hydroxide to have this react to completion. We're then calculating the concentration of the sodium hydroxide so we take the moles from the step above and we divide by volume. Now here we need to remember that our volume needs to be in litres. So we're going to divide by a thousand first. And that gives a concentration of sodium hydroxide of 2.23 moles per litre. Pause the video now and try this example. An example such as this is looking at vitamin C and iodine, which is a slightly different type of titration. And this is one of the reasons that I've chosen to use this method, as this will work for every type of titration that you have to look at. So here we have iodine in the burette with a concentration of 0 0.05. And we have vitamin C in the flask and we have 25 mils of vitamin C. So starting with the iodine, we're going to calculate the average titer using these two values as they are within 0.2 of each other. We need to divide by two to get our average titer in milliliters and then divide by a thousand to get an average titer in liters that we can then use. Calculating moles, we're going to do concentration times volume. The concentration from the burette is 0 0.005 and the average titer is 0 0.016. This means that we use 0 0.00008 moles of iodine. The mole ratio from the equation shows one mole of iodine reacting with one mole of vitamin C. We have 0 0.00008 and to go from one side to the other we have to multiply by one which means that we have the same number of moles of vitamin C reacting. We now want to calculate the concentration of vitamin C by using the moles that we've just calculated and the volume from the flask. We're going to divide the volume by a thousand to get that into litres before we do anything with it. This gives us a concentration of 0 0.0032 moles per litre. This would be a good time to mention how to know if your answer X is correct. If you compare your final answer concentration with the concentration of the other one that you're reacting with, they're often quite similar. Okay? If you get something that is really, really small or really, really big, then you've maybe made a mistake somewhere in your calculation. Common places to make mistakes are to not turn your volumes into litres or to only turn your volume into litres at one stage and not the other. Another place where common mistakes are made are in the mole ratio. Here, this is quite a straightforward one to one ratio, but if you have a more complex ratio, one to two, three to two, that sort of thing, then you may have made a mistake in transferring your values over. Remember that these calculations are often worth more than one mark. So even if you do make an arithmetic mistake at some point, you will still get some of the partial marks. Pause the video now and try this last calculation. So in this calculation, we are looking at calculating the concentration of hydrochloric acid. 
we have sodium carbonate in the burette and hydrochloric acid in the flask. Calculating our average titer, we're going to use these two values here as they are within 0.2 of each other. So we're calculating an average, we add them together and then we divide by the number of values. We then need this to be in litres, so we're going to divide by a thousand. We're then calculating the number of moles of sodium carbonate. So we're going to take the concentration from the burette, which is one, and multiply it by the average titer. Now the mole ratio we take from the balanced equation. So one mole of sodium carbonate reacts with two moles of hydrochloric acid. We have 0 0.015 moles of sodium carbonate from the line above. And to go from left to right, we need to multiply by two, which means that we would react with 0 0.03 moles of hydrochloric acid. To get concentration, we do moles divided by volume. The volume is 20 millilitres, which when divided by 1000 is 0 0.02 litres. So we take the moles that we've calculated in step 3 and divide by the volume to get a concentration of 1.5 moles per litre. Thank you for watching my video, I hope that you found it helpful. Please remember to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified of new videos and to follow me on Instagram, Miss Adams Chemistry for flashcards throughout the year. Bye for now.